ladies and gentlemen, starting for your Chicago Bulls. No, guys, David Griffin in studio. What's up? Oh, man. What a TV dude. talk reunion. Here we go. <laughs> you know what? The crazy thing is Sinead is usually Thursday. Oh, really? And she canceled. And I was trying to make it a surprise because a couple weeks ago, I was trying to make a surprise for her and Mova. Sinead canceled last second. Hmm. Then She's busy. She, I was going to reach out to you Monday and be like, let's finally get you in studio, right? And then Sinead canceled on me Monday, and I was like, well, what the hell? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if Sinead I was kind of wondering. Like, I, was, I didn't yeah. want to bring it up, but I know Michelle, who's, who's my wife, feels you don't know, yeah. asked me a few times, like, well, are, is Makuga ever going to have me on the show? It's like, well, he hasn't brought it up. I don't know if I want to mention it. Like, no, maybe yeah. he doesn't want me. On. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, here's the thing is, I know that you're busy. Everybody here, the thing. Yeah. Everybody is excited to see you. Welcome, everybody, to the Positivity <laughs> Report. It's a Thursday. I've had you on twice. Via virtual, oh, true. yeah, that's true. That's true. Right? Yeah, yeah. And that's true. I didn't. I don't know your schedule, and I don't want to like pepper you with like, hey, when are you coming in studio? I know you're busy. Uh, you know, like it, David's big time and me came in with like a, a National Geographic backpack. I was like, whoa, <laughs> big time! It's Captain of the Swag over here. Um, and you know, he's he of the TV talkers that that I don't I don't say made it, <laughs> but like of the TV yeah. talkers that are still talking TV. Yes. Ex- David is is a big deal. He's a big deal. So uh, I know that you're busy. You got a baby on the way. Yep. I didn't want to, you know, but I thought, okay, Sinead's coming in Thursday. This will be the week I'm going to surprise her with David Griffin. In it studio. worked out. It worked out perfectly. And then I happen to have a, a day off today. Day off. And so let's call. Let's see perfect. if she answers. Because I know she's working. Let's just see. And I, there we go. This is Sinead. This is Sinead. Because oh. I texted her last night trying to like. Maybe pepper the mill a little bit, see if she can come in and like leave halfway through the show. But let's see. Because Kelly DeFreeze never answers. We always try and call Kelly, me and Sinead. Never answers. Here. Never answers. I don't know. I think that's, I think that's, that's happening. That's not. It's a lot of ringing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's great to have David. Gr- One of these days, the reunion in studio will happen. Yeah, and I like the, the, whole, the whole crew. The whole crew. The whole crew. We're yeah. going to get Fife in here. Yeah. Uh, and David Griffin, Sinead DeFreeze, mm-hmm. we're going to make it happen. We, are, we will not be talking animation. Uh, maybe we, Here's what we'll do. You know what we do? Because we have the capability here now. Is we'll put <laughs> Emma on a clock and be like, you have three minutes of animation. Go. Go. Yeah. go. <laughs> just start talking about it. Just go. And a lot of it better be that new He-Man show because our friend Tiffany Smith, I interviewed voice. her actually. Did you? Yeah, we had a, a junket, and I interviewed Tiffany Smith and Kay. Sarah Michelle Geller and uh, Sarah Kevin Michelle Smith. Geller's yeah. in that show. Yeah, she is. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. she I plays. Know. I think she plays Evil Lynn. I think. Oh. Um, I might be mistaken, but yeah, no, okay. yeah, she was on there. Okay. Very nice. Um. Yeah. Uh, I. Well, we've had Freddie Prince Jr. at yeah, Collider right, back yeah. in the day, mm-hmm. in the day. And I, I mean, Sarah Michelle Geller. If you didn't have a crush on Sarah Michelle Geller in the nineties, oh, you just cruel intentions. Oh, like, come my on. Good yeah. lord. Yeah. Even what was the the Scooby Doo movie? Oh yeah, she yeah, was great. Oh yeah, she's great. it's funny that their husband and wife are now I both know. doing voiceover work. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah, and she's Star Wars, right? She does Star Wars, yeah. and then now she's in He Man, and she she did Star Wars a little bit too. Yeah, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's one of those couples that you wish kind of had a reality show, or like they make a movie about that, like it's like yeah. Sarah and Freddie, twenty years later, kind of a thing. They're kind of. Low key, you don't really hear no. much about them, which uh, that's probably a good thing. I feel like the couples you hear about a lot is probably not a good thing. Yeah, so correct. It's probably good you don't yeah, hear yeah, about yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, but I love that Michelle's like, is Josh ever going to bring you on? Of course, I want to bring you on. I don't want to pepper you all of the time. <laughs> I, that's the thing. Is like I always feel bad, and I'm like, uh, can you you want to come on this week? Because I booking the show is not. I don't want to say it's not fun or it's not difficult. It's just a daily show. Yeah. When my I've been trying to build a little bit of like a hey on Monday you're here if I can get another guest mm-hmm. you're as well with them kind of a thing because Tuesday this week David I've been I, originally it was supposed to be in May and I have been canceled and like rescheduled probably six times and, I'm, and listen everybody's got busy mm-hmm. schedules but Gene Trebek is coming on the studio into studio. Oh, Alex Trebek's wife. Oh Alex, wow, That's the late huge. great Alex Trebek. Yeah. His wife, and uh, she runs a website called InsideWink.com, and they focus on positivity and good yeah. news and stuff like that. And I thought that'd be a perfect fit. Uh, I'd love to hear her take on the the guest host. Just right. hearing, just to see what, what are your what are your takes on the guest host? I I actually I mean I think for now until they find a permanent host because Alex yeah. is just such a big oh, name to you best. know he's such a presence that voice that's oh. so iconic to replace. So I like that they're bringing new people and it kind of keeps things fresh. Sure. I thought, I mean, I know Rodgers is a bit controversial right now, so all the stuff he has going on. If you're a Green mm-hmm. Bay fan, probably mm-hmm. just really nervous. But I thought he was actually pretty good. Sure. He was good. I'll give you Rodgers. Yeah, I like Rodgers. He was trying. 
Yes. He was trying like very hard. He had hard. like the monotone, the voice. Yes. He's very, you know, and even when people would, you know, talk about the field goal and all that, he would kind of. That was brush. pretty funny. He was good. Yeah. Qu- quick on his feet. I quit. He was quick. I, I want to know who did his hair because it was very like. Yeah, it was like the slick. <sighs> yeah, was, I've never seen his hair like that before. It was like, like a slick comb over. Yeah. I didn't get it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but he was, he is definitely, he was better than, I had a big problem with Dr. Oz. I didn't think he was. I didn't very see good. a lot of his. Yeah, I didn't see. Yeah. He was kind of like your angry gym teacher who mm-hmm. was really upset that like you didn't want to participate in dodgeball, <laughs> or like that angry little league dad. You know that angry yeah. little league dad who was yeah. like, J- "David, you're looking at strike three. I'm like, I'm ten. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> you're not supposed to be get mad at the contestants. I'm ten. Yeah. yeah. He was like, "Oh, you didn't get that right. Nice work. I'm like, oh, okay, thanks, Doctor Oz. Um, and uh, but my favorite by far is Katie Couric. Like she. Oh yeah, I did see a couple of hers. The were best. Good. And, and I think Variety dropped the article yeah. today that was like ranking in their top, and they didn't even put Katie Couric in the top three. I'm well, like, what? I liked. Uh, I always mispronounce uh, her name, but uh, the woman from uh, Big Bang Theory uh, and Liam Bialik. Yeah, I thought she was. Did you like pretty, her? I thought she was okay. decent too. I only uh-huh. saw a couple though. We might we might disagree ish okay. okay. there. I'm typically watching that around the time we're eating dinner. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Like yeah. I'm eating dinner and Jeopardy's on in the background. Sure. And I'll kind of you know. Well, I have to hold Rosie. But here's the thing. We're trying to get on like a schedule. You'll see. Right. Trying to get on a schedule. Um, I talked all to Greg Miller on Monday all about like the dad stuff. Uh, so when I bring you back on again to please Michelle, uh, closer to dad time, yes. we'll go We'll go more. You bring a litany of questions. Because at that point, I'll probably have like another couple months under my belt. Mm-hmm. And you can be like, all right, what's this? What's this? And I more than likely won't have the right answer, David, because Mich- Amanda's running this ship. <laughs> She's Captain Jack Sparrow, okay, without the rum. She's running the ship, and she is running it like a, I mean, iron fist. She's, she, yeah, I'm I mean, just in the back, like. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I mean, I just I was telling you uh, yeah. off camera that you know I just built the crib, so that was a, that was a big, big milestone, day. important. Big day. I mean, I, I had to do that. Yep. I had to put that together. Uh-huh. I couldn't go on TaskRabbit and hire somebody no. to do it. I'm like, mm-hmm. I had to put together my son's crib. It's got a, it's a it's dad got job. A, yeah, it's a dad job. Another boy, too. I feel Another like boy, early yeah. on, a bunch of my friends were having girls, and now everybody's having boys. It's, it's we kind of thought great. in the beginning, we, already th- we, we weren't really thinking of boy names. We are thinking of girl names because yeah. I think we just, again, this is not science. We're just putting our heads together uh-huh. like, well, my parents, they had a girl first. Her parents, girl first. We went down the family line. Sure. Everybody had a girl first, so we assumed it's probably going to be a girl. Yeah. Nope, no. it's not. It's a boy, which is fine. It's a boy, yeah, which is I'm good. sure it'll be great. Which is good. And I bet you. <laughs> well, it's a boy. Yeah. I, I love like the science behind it because everybody's like, oh, on the Chinese calendar it says it's oh, a girl. Man. On uh, the conception calendar it says it's a or boy. Or people looked at like our ultra, uh, ultra uh, um, you know, the, the the photos of of Miles. Yes. So, you know, in the in the womb, in and the they'd womb. be like, oh, well, the way he's positioned and the way he's sitting that, that's a boy uh, well, girls don't sit like that they're, they're not like tucked away in the corner i'm like really i don't think that's <laughs> poor miles he's like i'm just hanging out I'm just hanging out he's just floating oh man <laughs> uh we got a uh, super chat from more mouth hans who says has lavar burton hosted yet he is not he is the final host oh. of the season he gets the last two weeks savannah really guthrie's been great she's she's mm-hmm. sweetheart she's very good um and but lavar burton is last and i think if, if like my math suits me He's probably going to get announced as the next host of Jeopardy. I mean, everybody has been begging to get him on as a host. They did like a change.org petition, all of that kind of stuff wow. to get LeVar Burton in. They finally do it. I would th- like Ken Jennings was good. He's mm-hmm. the na- I think the natural fit that they all want right. him. Uh, Rogers you know, is going to play football. You know, Rogers is going to play football. He's going to play football. Yeah. Uh, you know, he said something like, "I can play football and host Jeopardy." Mm. I don't know if you can do both, but yeah. you know, uh, listen, I, I have a, I don't want to like tell names here, but I have a friend <laughs> who's a head coach in the NFL. You can't do both. You, you're the quarterback of an NFL team. Yep. You are the quarterback of that team. Mm-hmm. Um, but when he retires, I'm sure you know he and I are going to have words about who's the next host of Jeopardy. Unfortunately, the next wave of hosts, albeit like the correct age and uh, yeah. met, you know, like. Energy level, I think, for yeah. Jeopardy. I think they were a little intimidated by the fact that they're like, he might be a loose cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Makuga might be a bit of a loose cannon. Makuga is not predictable, but that's a good yes. thing. That's what I like about Jeopardy. Exactly. <laughs> um, and uh, d- uh, our buddy Garrett Farney, who's yeah. coming to the Queens Cup this year. Okay. Garrett Farney's flying off for the Queens Cup. Yeah, we Did- got we, we got to get a time on that because Michelle is due. Like we got to. We're ooh. saying uh, Saturday, October sixteenth. Is that too close? No, that's fine. That's okay. before. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that'll work. Saturday, October sixteenth. John McCougar's birthday. You got to pick a course. 
Oh yeah, it's my job. Yeah, because yeah, I, I just put my name. Your your dad sent yeah. over the the name. The we're gonna plate, br- so next time you come in, we're gonna bring the trophy yes. to talk all about the Queen's yes. Cup. Yeah, because we are gonna start a golf excited. show on this channel that Garrett Farney's gonna be a part of, and Garrett Farney wants to know, David, how's your golf game? Because you got to get some rounds in before the baby comes. Because when the baby comes, the rounds get a little limited. Yeah, no, my, my game's it's it's about the same. I have <laughs> never been as good as I was in high school. I've actually played for a team. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I've just always been around, probably yeah. like a sixteen handicap. I shoot upper eighties. Yeah, you know? I mean I'm. Haven't been, you know. Oh, for those bogey not, golf. Just kidding, just if I get bogey, if I get a bogey every hole, that is a great round. I'm happy with a 90, 45, 45. And then if I get a par, that's one under bogey golf. That's how I do my score. One under bogey golf. I'm that's a real good day. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, the funniest thing ever is when David Griffin's like, he, he smiles at me, bogey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good bogey. That's wrong with a bogey. <laughs> Good bogey. So good. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, our buddy Daniel Medina says, uh, that's when my daughter is coming. Uh, right when uh, he's, his okay. his wife is due right around the same okay. time. Yeah. Um, very excited. I, I will say, you know, I mean, listen. <sighs> Miles wants to date my daughter later in life. He's one of the few approved kids right now. Thank you. are not many. Thank you. I'll tell you right now. We were into pediatrician yesterday the doctor was like oh we have this kid teddy who's really vocal like rosie's like i don't give a shit about teddy okay <laughs> don't bring up teddy in this room okay this is rosie time teddy sounds like maybe a little cocky yeah, to- te- <laughs> yeah. hey teddy he's, a fool of himself. he's up on the clutch there <laughs> teddy <laughs> teddy talks a lot yeah because what you'll see when you go to the the pediatrician you're just like where's my baby rank like if we were going to put a yeah. baby ranking because i think it should be like peloton it'd be like yeah. right now rosie's <laughs> our favorite baby in the office and like who's rosie i th- dude come on everybody loves a good competition put the babies in competition yeah why not you're in la the yeah. parents are already insane make them more insane let's <laughs> go nuts. thinking about what commercials they can book them on yes yeah <laughs> oh my baby's cute enough to go in a commercial i mean it's like look at her eyes maybe she could be i was like we're not putting in commercials Okay. Don't want to traumatize. We're her. not. We're not yep. doing that yet. Okay. <laughs> if she wants to be on Nickelodeon shows later in life, great. Okay. But I'm not going to be the dadager who's like, I'm going to bring my daughter on auditions when she doesn't even know what she's doing. Not doing that. <laughs> All right. My parents didn't force me to do that. There's nothing wrong with parents that do that. But also, nope. I kind of want her to be a professional golfer, so I'm going to push her. <laughs> there you go. You got to be like this. You see these pictures of uh, Michelle Wee, uh, yeah. Michelle Wee West online, and go. she's holding the baby and you know swinging the club yeah. and all that. Yeah, just kind of get it in there. Don't want to be go full. No, Tiger. I'm honor, looking but, forward you know. to when I put yeah. Rosie on my back and one of those there things, you and you know we mm-hmm. just putt. She gets used to seeing me. Yeah. I just <laughs> last night I uh, during Prime Day I bought a huge golf net for the backyard. Nice. Because good idea. Here's the thing. Some nights it's like eight thirty. I was like, "Can I go to the driving range?" And man is like, "No." I'm like, "Okay, that makes." Can I go sense. to the backyard. Can yeah. I go to the backyard? No problem. <laughs> she can come out, have a glass of rosé, watch me. Yep. The baby's asleep. She can watch the monitor, whatever the case may be. I don't have to leave my family, get a little mm-hmm. exercise in the backyard. So I set it up, and I didn't realize how big it was going to be. I didn't look at the measurements. <laughs> this thing's like a FIFA soccer goal. <laughs> I, I need to. I need to bring in a picture of this because Amanda comes out. She's like. Oh, that's huge. And I was like, yeah, it's a Well, it's got to catch the ball. Yeah. Unless it goes this way and that way. You don't want well, to, I just said, I don't want to put it in the road. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm like, don't want to hit the neighbors. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. There's some expensive houses across yeah. the street. Yep. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so I've got that going, David. So, you know, you know, I, then I can put Rosie out there in yeah. a little high chair, a little mm-hmm. seat, and she can watch like they did with Tiger Woods. That's they did with Tiger. They fed him and they put him in that garage and watched Earl hit golf balls yep. all day long. Yep. Listen, I don't want to. You want to go full Earl. Thank, Thank you. Don't go full Earl. <laughs> yeah, not full Earl Woods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you watch the Tiger doc, you're like, don't go full Earl. Don't go full Earl. No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, I want her to love golf like me because as we talked about, like, listen, how cool would it be? We're like, Hey Michelle, Amanda, uh, we're gonna take Miles and Rosie out to the course. That's a daddy daughter date, the daddy son yeah. date. And we like we, they ride around the cart, they learn golf. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, we have the next generation of Queens Cup players. Exactly. Keep keep it going. Yeah. For those that don't know what the Queens Cup is, my dad, my buddy Tanner Noblin, who's been on the show as well, and I started a golf tournament like ten years ago, nine years ago, and now it's turned into like a trophy and an annual event. And this year, David's dad's gonna come back out. It's gonna be a thing. We're gonna we're gonna really. That was it fun. Up. And last year, David yeah. won on a putt off from distance. From distance, distance. Ikaika. Ooh. Ikaika's going to play in the Queen's Cup this year as well. <gasps> yes. Oh, yeah, nice. he is. Okay. Uh, Ikaika rolled his ankle on Sunday, because, uh, and we want to know ankle watch. Ankle watch. Um, I believe I've moved to the seven-day DL. Which, seven-day seven DL. Which my brother said it's IL now, not DL. Oh, IL. So that means he could come back early. Could come yeah. back. Could maybe after two or three days. Yeah, we don't he, know. He could be pitching. Correct. Yeah, we'll exactly. see. Exactly. Nice. 
Uh, a super chat from Matt the Beardman. It says, your surprise package will be delivered today, GPA. Sorry, Ikaika, yours was shipped separately, so it won't be in the current shipment. Matt, you're a legend. I appreciate <laughs> you. Okay. Uh, Matt's a track coach in Michigan. Okay, which part? And, uh, yeah. f- Grand Rapids, Okay, I think. Grand Rapids. Or maybe C- it's one of the Rapids. Cedar Rapids or Grand Rapids? They're, they're both in Michigan. Is there a Cedar Rapids, Michigan? Or is that Cedar Rapids, Iowa? I think that's Iowa. So it must be Grand Rapids, yeah. Michigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to live in Michigan, you know. I did. I went to <laughs> school at Central Michigan in Mount Pleasant. There you did. <laughs> the Chippewas. Yep. I got it. Yeah, good job. <laughs> you got it. Job. Come on, let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, no, uh, Matt the Beardman, heck of a guy. He had three of his uh, uh, athletes go to the state finals. Wow. So he's doing a pretty good well, job out yeah, there in Grand good. Rapids, Michigan. Yeah, uh, get, Grand, Michigan has great sports. Yeah. Great football, Fantastic. good golf teams. Yep. Yeah. Really good sports. And David Griffin, uh, a few weeks ago, no, I wouldn't say that, getting ready for the wedding, he was getting real into jogging, the big jogging. He's like, I went yeah. for a run yeah. around the Rose Bowl. I did, yeah. And this is when our friendship almost ended. Because I was like, running? Yeah, I'm not a big runner guy. I was uh, like, I don't know if you've been friends with a runner guy. But here's the thing with David Griffin, like most things, didn't talk a lot about it. No, I wasn't I like, some, oh, I'm a big runner now. I wear not, the short but shorts. I'm also not like like a runner high kind of guy where I'm right. like, oh, man, I could go like 10 miles. Yep. I mean, I do a little loop. The Rose Bowl is a, a 5K, so it's yes. about 3.1 miles. Mm-hmm. I do a loop, mm-hmm. a little under 30 minutes, and I go home. Boom. And I'm happy. There you go. That's it. I'm not yeah. out there. All Some guys, there's guys, there's dads and moms that run past me while pushing the babies yeah, those, in, those, in the strollers. That's a lot. They're moving. I'm that's like, nope. I don't think that's ever going to be me. Yeah, I we I mean she's not even in like she's still in the bassinet part of the stroller, so I can't really run her because she'd just be like, I I can't do it. But also, Josh doesn't run. I only run from things, David, Mm -hmm. or two things. And also always worry because at the Rose Bowl there's uh, 36 holes of golf and a driving range, (laughs) and balls do sometimes come over. So I'm like, I hope those babies have the covers. I know that ball could just hit poor Rosie, and yeah, that's why we don't run. Another reason. Good, smart. You're smart, man. Uh, Matt the Beard Man says, "Yep, Grand Rapids. I did golf in high school too. All right, Matt." And then Gary F- Garrett Farney, Gary Farney, Garrett Farney comes in and says, "I'm coming for that trophy, David." Ooh. It's big, big fighting words. And this year will be the first year. Mark Riley's also taking golf lessons. Mm-hmm. Ken might be able to MC the post party. Uh, Ken, we went to Top Golf one time. Mark Ellis and Ken have just been dogging this whole time. Like, uh, we went to Top Golf. Wait, I kind wait, of fixed... Top Golf? It's not in LA now. No, no, we were in Arizona. Oh, Arizona. Okay. This is a few okay. years ago. And uh, they loved it. Ken can hit the golf ball. Mark, I, I got him to hit the golf ball. He was shanking it a little bit. Mm-hmm. We figured it out. And they refuse to go out and play golf no. with us. Michelle keeps saying she wants to try. I've been together for almost three years. I still haven't brought her. I need to take her to the range. Mm-hmm. I took a man to the range one time. She was amazing. Took her to the range a second time. She the hated man is it. Man, good. I remember. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've I sent you that video. Yeah, she's yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, and then the second time when she's like, I don't like this anymore. I was like, Great, move on. Whatever you want to do. But I guarantee you, when Rosie wants to get into it, she's going to feel left out, and we have to do like family golf days. Yeah, maybe that'll bring Amanda back. Yeah, back into it. That was that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, uh, real quick, uh, we, uh, I always forget the house cleaning, uh, housekeeping, house clean yeah. early on, uh, right now, a uh, portion of all proceeds raised in super chats and stream labs, uh, go to the Trevor project until the end of the June, end of June, uh, the Trevor project.org. So thank you all for all of your donations and always supporting all of the shows. When I saw the football player from the, the Raiders, yeah. the Raiders would donated a hundred thousand dollars to the product. That's cool. NASA. Cool. Yeah. Uh, first active player to come out as as gay, which Very is cool. which is amazing. Uh, also, uh, you can still buy. Go to streamlabs.com slash goodpeoplegba. You can buy the picks and the sticks. Twenty five dollars for non members. Twenty dollars for members. Streamlabs.com slash goodpeoplegba. Remember, in the messages, uh, yeah, I gave David Griffin a, a Josh McCuga pick. Mm-hmm. Um, in the description or in the message, make sure you put your full name, not your screen name, your full name and your address. It won't prompt you. Just put it in that message. It's private. Don't worry about it. We're going to send out those picks and sticks next week. We're almost out of them, so make sure you get your bundles now. Uh, we also later, like next week or two weeks, we're also just going to be offering the, the guitar picks as well as we get some new designs for stickers as well. Or we may repre- reprint the stickers because um, this is my favorite one. The Be Good People, David. It's kind of like, like Stranger one. Things a little Stranger bit. Stranger Things, yep. And it was designed by my uh, my cousin's uh, in-laws, and uh, they run a uh, shop called Design Studios out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Sammy and Jared, they did a heck of a job. And uh, you can go to the GPA.fund. You can join the Bucket Club. Boom. I got you, you're, getting a, you're getting a glass today, David. Ooh. Because you were the first ever guest. You know what I'm very sad about? I don't, I don't know what happened to it. I think I lost it in the move. Not this recent move, but the move 
from my place when I lived in with Michelle. I don't have your Josh Makuka show mug anymore. Yeah, that's a good thing. We got a couple here, buddy. Oh, good. <laughs> I was missing that mug. It was one of my favorite mugs, but I just don't know what happened to it. Because we're getting positivity report mugs, and we got to clear some space out. <laughs> Give David Griffin another Josh Makuka yeah. show mug. Boom. All right, so um, what's going on? And let's do some TV talk. Mm. I think people want to know you are a master of disaster when it comes to television in all forms. Yep. Streaming right now. Your official title still streaming editor at IGN. Or yeah, you kind of IGN. You kind of jack of all trades. You cover okay. little movies, little TV. Oh, you do movies too. Yeah, yeah. I do a little bit of everything. Did yeah, you mostly, see the best mostly, night mostly yet? not yet. No, <sighs> mostly, mostly TV though. Mostly TV. I, I like the. I still haven't seen Fast Eight. I need to watch oh. Eight. I missed that one. David, I was, quickly... I was on a plane ride a while back. And I saw Hobbs and Shaw finally. Mm-hmm. So I just need to see Eight, and then I'll be caught up. Hobbs and Shaw criminally underrated. Very That's good. Very oh, good. Yeah, those guys have great chemistry. Yeah, uh, I, I quickly the Fast and Furious franchise is becoming my favorite overall franchise. Listen, mm-hmm. Bad Boys is it, but like as far as the full franchise, Bad Boys only has three movies. Fast, there's like sixty-seven Fast and Furious. Yeah. They're and superheroes now. They're, it's fantastic. Yeah, they're superheroes. And so uh, I love, I can't wait for Fast 9. I might just go by myself. Because yeah. Am- Amanda, Amanda might be upset if I go without her. We can't bring a baby to a movie. Yeah. And we're not going to get a sitter to go see a movie. We've already decided that as a people. Yeah, for me and Michelle's not into the Fast series. Mm-mm, so mm-mm. She's going to go see Black Widow with me, though. Oh, She's like, oh, I'll go see Black Widow. She's not like okay. a huge Marvel film. She's like, I'll go see Black When's Widow. When's that come out? July 9th. Oh, so soon. I think soon, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I might have to sell this one to Amanda because she did like Hobbs and Shaw, but and weirdly enough, every time Hobbs and Shaw comes on HBO, she turns it on. Yeah, she turns on. Be like, well, Charlize is in here. Yeah, I mean, it's you know that yeah. Charlize bowl cut. Yeah, she's rocking it. Yeah, in the trailer I mean, Charlize always looks good no matter what. But I don't know what's up with the. Kaika Shively not a fan of the bowl cut. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's a weird haircut. I've got to be honest with you. I think I tweeted out a little while back. I was like, the most disturbing part, the most unbelievable part <laughs> of the Fast and Furious trailer, Fast 9 trailer, even though they're driving cars suspended in the air, <laughs> is Charlize Theron's bowl cut. Yep. She she looks like she's in a 1980s movie that takes place in like the year 3000. Correct. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure what she's going for with that. It, was it an actual cut or is it a wig? It's got to be a wig. Be a wig. I can't, can't see you can't for that. I know I know she can go method, but I don't think she's going that method for that one. Yeah, no. I mean, I wouldn't. No. If I was Charlize Theron, somebody's like, "You're gonna have to do a bowl cut." She's like, "In a wig." Yeah, a wig. Yeah. I mean, I'm not Lloyd Christmas over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm not, it's a look. It's a look. It's a look. It's a look. Because then the first one, didn't she have dreadlocks? Wasn't it dreadlocks? Well, that was the eight, right? That's that's the one I haven't it was seen. Eight. Yeah. Or was it seven? Was she in seven or she, eight? No, I think she was. Unless I missed seven. Too. Eight. I think she was an I don't, eight. I don't eight. really watch. I think those. she was an eight. You do yeah. watch him. Stop it. No. You're the, the I, Hawaiian hunk. The Hobbs and Shaw took place in Samoa. I've seen I've seen Hobbs and Shaw, but I don't really care about that franchise. Wow, The Rock. You think is you know crazy, a guy? Yeah. You think you know a guy? Was he in the last one, The Rock? The Rock's been in like the last four or five. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, I need to catch up. Um, Michael T comes in with a super chat. He says, "Not gonna lie, season ten of The Walking Dead got me hooked again. Not gonna lie, I'm still Ooh. watching the show. Yeah, I'd, I haven't seen that. You dumped in it in years. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm I, just, I can't. I don't know. I don't know." Uh, Will McLean says she was an eight. Okay, we got that. She was an eight. Got it. Okay. Um, the uh, I I'm I'm one of three people that I know that still watches, like friends that still watches The Walking Dead. It's me and Roxy, and I forget who the third. Really, person. you're in there every Sunday. I've never, Sundays, never missed an episode. What's, what, just one more season, and now they're going to do like spinoffs. There's going to be like a movie or something. And they have that little like teen version right now. It's like Saved by the Bell meets Walking Dead or something yeah, going not, on. I didn't watch any of those. Yeah. I tried to watch Fear the Walking Dead, and I was like, they're on this boat too long. I can't do this again. You know, there's, I, a, there's a miniseries, speaking of AMC, coming out like July 15th with Colin Farrell. Ooh. I think they're like on a boat or something. I just got like a press release for it. I'm like, Colin Farrell has an AMC limited. Maybe it's it might be one of those things where it's going to air in the UK first and then mm-hmm. come to AMC. But okay, okay. Colin Farrell's come to AMC, so yeah. I'm still watching AMC. I'm still watching AMC. Yeah, I, I'll tell you what. I haven't been this excited about a TV show. It's not on AMC. I'm this excited for a second season of a TV show, and hmm. God knows how long. It's Tim Robinson's sketch show on Netflix. Okay, I think you should leave. I Have do. you watched? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> It's the best sketch show ever made, I think. I'm, I, I'm not, you know, I think you know, I don't really watch like SNL yeah, and those yeah, kind of yeah, shows. Yeah, so, unless, yeah. but if you recommend it, I'll try to check it out. That's not what yeah. I gravitate towards. Oh, wait, real quick. Yeah. Name here says it's a real haircut she had for like a year. Wow. Was it like a COVID cut? Did she say, F it, I'm going full bowl cut for COVID? Maybe. Yeah. 
I must. I don't pay attention to her when she's not on doing some filming something. So I'm not sure what she looks like. Yeah, I don't like follow. I don't her watch on her like the, the TMZ. I don't know anything. what she's doing. Yeah, she's rarely on. That is one big pile of shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was a bad. It's a bad haircut. And Charlize Theron is a, the, is perfect. She. I don't She's think awesome. this is the first thing. This is the first mistake in her entire career, and that includes Eon Seven, mm-hmm. Z- Z- Xerox yeah. Eight. What was it called? Eon Flux. Well, you know what I no. was thinking about her recently, Charlize, because I was th- going back to TV. I was thinking of Kate Winslet and Mayor of Easttown, which yes. is probably it's got to be top three shows of the year. It might be the best show of the year. We'll see how this year ends. But Pretty um, I, w- I was just thinking of Charlize like coming to TV and doing something like. Kate Winslet. Yeah, yeah. It. Um, I mean, I think HBO just, even though HBO's in this weird place because they have HBO Max and they're trying yeah. to do all these like Game of Thrones spinoffs, but when they put out a show that's like a good show, like sure. Netflix can't. I mean, no. Netflix has some great shows, but Mm-mm. HBO still. They, they, they just do the best and they work with the. I don't know. They just do so. Uh, it's incredible. We were kind of making the comparison to like, uh, was it on this show, Ikaiga, that we were talking about this? I don't remember. So, I don't know what we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> I, I like how he. he <laughs> makes my, my favorite show. Okay. Uh, Lauren Romo does Ted Lasso is the best show out, in my humble opinion. She's not wrong. Mm-hmm. And I'm so excited. So, I'm super excited for Tim. And then right after that, Ted Lasso comes out. So, like, my two favorite shows of the last five years come out, s- second seasons come out like weeks apart. Yeah. I'm so excited. Tim Robinson, an old SNL guy. Yeah. He's good buddies with my good buddy, Sam Richardson. Sam Richardson's going to be in a bunch of the sketches. He's in the trailer. <laughs> it, dude, it is the silliest. Off, most off the wall sketch show of all time. Okay, and the trailer. It's Tim Robinson's on another level of comedy. Like it's in a, in a whole different world. And I was, in I loved the show on Comedy Central that he and Sam Richardson did. Oh my god, why can't I remember the name of it? There were ad executives. A uh, Detroiters. Okay, Detroiters was again perfect television, and Comedy <laughs> Central buried it. I yeah. don't know. The, another show, Comedy Central. I didn't know. Did you watch the other two? It just it just started no. streaming on HBO Max, mm. but it came out in like 2019 on okay. Comedy Central. Only had one season. Uh, uh, Ken Marino's in it. Molly Shannon. It's a comedy. Check it out. I think yeah. you and Michelle would love it. Me and Amanda loved it. Okay. Because it's inside Hollywood, so I think mm-hmm. you'll like really get it. It takes place in New York. Um, but Ted Lasso and I Think You Should Leave come out at the same time. Um, man, those two shows... Give give I think you should leave a try. Just give the okay. first episode. It's only like, thirty minutes. What's other minutes. hot show? Isn't like Bo Burnham have some show that people are raving about on Netflix? Oh, is that no, also it's, sketch? It's, no, it's not. A, it's just his stand up special. Oh, Didn't, it's, a, it's amazing. Yeah, is people it? are going crazy about Josh, that. That's what I hear. Yeah, yeah, people are going crazy about that. Yeah, I think I might have to. Well, I'll, I can't watch it today because we got Josh Bridgman. I haven't written any of it yet, but. <sighs> I, I only have so much time. You'll see when you have a kid. You like you got to really prioritize. No, stuff. I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm Matt just excited. Bosch is coming back. Bosch is back on Friday. I've final heard season this this Friday. This Friday, like day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. Yeah, to- day after tomorrow. No, tomorrow. Bosch. tomorrow. <laughs> Tonight, probably at nine p.m. Amazon usually does nine nine p.m. PT. Yeah. Bosch is back. Bosch is back. Season seven. Have you you seen it? No, I have the screeners, but that's one of those shows I don't. You we watch. don't review, so oh. I can take my time. Mm-hmm. I, like, I like to kind of enjoy Bosch. I don't like to rush it. Our buddy Thad Williams, yeah, that has yeah. seen it. He got the screeners. Yeah, yeah. He screened it. Said it's great. Loved it. I bought the pandemic was so long. I feel like the last time I saw Bosch, I was like 15. It was so good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a while back, but it was during pandemic. It was like right after the Tiger King. It, it's always hard to describe that show to people. It's like, what's so good about it? Like, it's, there's nothing flashy about no, it. It's just a man yeah. listening to jazz and solving mm-hmm. crimes. It's just, it's very, it's nothing. Talking about restaurants in L.A. He's like, oh, best uh, taco in L.A. Oh, my like gosh. He, he yeah. always says something, like at least once or twice Yeah, he season. says something about Dupar's being the best pancakes in L.A. I was like, eh, I've had yeah. Dupar's in Pasadena. That's fine. It's okay. not the best pancake. Or okay. uh, he'll, like, best Mexican takeout in town or something. It, it, yeah, and he'll say that about, uh, uh, what's the one that was by my old place that we went to? It's good. Uh, oh, yeah. El Compadre. Yeah. Because they always mm-hmm. shoot a scene at El Compadre yep. in Bosch. Michelle, we, you and I and... I mean, yeah. they went there to eat. Yeah, yeah we Michelle did. likes the flaming margaritas. They're good. Yeah, they're good yep. margs. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, now Bosch coming back. So tomorrow, tomorrow. I got, let's hold on. Mm-hmm. Let's see if Amanda answers because she's going to be very excited. Yeah, just, a Rick and Morty is back for Rick and Morty fans. Really? Second, episode one premiered last week, and then episode two is this Sunday. I think. No it's way. Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Amanda's going to be excited about Bosch. Hello. Hey, real quick, babe, guess what? David Griffin's on the Positivity Report. Very excited about hanging out on Sunday. We started talking about TV. Uh-huh. Babe, guess what comes out tomorrow? Is, is it Bosch? It is Bosch. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Yep, we're very excited. David has yet to watch it. 
He's going to take his time with it. The Makugas are going to try and binge it while um, uh, Rosie's asleep, probably fall asleep during episode two, wake up during episode four, and have to rewind it. Yeah, that's, that's, if, she, that's if she sleeps, because right now she's, I think she's, uh, she's fighting it. She's not going to be a sleeping baby lately, so who knows when we'll watch it. But she was a sleeping baby two nights so ago. Excited. It's going to be fine. It's fine. <laughs> I, t- I was telling they, they change. They change every day, and I, then all of a sudden they don't like sleeping. Oh. All right. Well, we'll save all that for the afternoons today, 4:30 p.m. right here on the channel. All right. Love you. Go, Bosch. <laughs> love you. Bye. Bye. Um. Yeah, we're excited about Bosch. What did I tell you? She like she's not sleeping. True. She slept like nine hours last night oh my god this is, this is, <laughs> this is marriage this is... oh did you think how about tv by the way oh, yeah. did you see that discovery inc bought warner brothers and so it's like warner horizons so or they now discovery own warner. the property brothers and game of thrones like that's a baller move whoa like their ceo I, what's his name is it dave he that guy makes like 50 60 million a year like he's a shrewd <laughs> business guy that, That's an insane amount of money. I mean, the, people pick you pick on like you know you yes. think of these channels like HGTV and TLC. Mm-hmm. You know, my six hundred pound life. All these shows, those shows make a lot of money. Totally. Yeah, Discovery Inc has a ton of money. So the fact that now they own Game of Thrones, wow, and Giada De Laurentiis, like oh. you know Bobby and Giada go to Italy, like they Ooh. own all those properties. Did you watch Stanley Tucci searching for Italy? On Not CNN? yet. I heard that's <gasps> good. I watched Ooh. Giada and Bobby's thing around yeah. Italy. I need to watch a Stanley Tucci one. Matt the Beer Man chimes in and says, "Do you guys watch Dave? I love Dave." You watch Dave oh, on, on FX? FX. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I've okay. heard it's good though. It's very good. Our buddy Andrew Santino's in it. That's one of my favorite networks. Besides HBO, I would say <laughs> FX is one of my favorite. I'm knocking networks. it out of the park. Yeah. yeah, everything they put out is great. It's kind of weird now that's on Hulu though. So. Uh, yeah, next day on Hulu. Yeah, next day on Hulu. Or sometimes they're Hulu exclusives and right. but it's still FX and. Uh, I get. I also yeah. as soon as I start seeing like nine different watermarks on shows, I'm like, all right, you guys got me. I'll just find it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, did you watch? Do you watch Mister In Between? Yes, I am behind. I'm on midway through season two. The final season's out right now. Oh, season so three is the final season. That's it. That's it. <gasps> yeah, but they it wasn't canceled. They just knew that that's the story they wanted to tell, and that's that's what? it. What? Yeah, season three is it. This is the last season. I have two more. I have a two on my DVR. It's I, well, I think it's the most underrated show on TV. So I was at uh, the, the TCAs as the Television Critics Association. This was when Mr. Mitchell was, was. I told you guys when he left TV to, like, talk. Name, he's just, a big deal. No, it's just. It's Guess what we, who never went to, to a TCAs? It, 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 it's like summer camp for TV critics. Oh. Anyway, so the first season it was make coming out with to any FX. Like cool new critics. No. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, got it. No, got it. You're sorry. married. You got to get on away. I forgot. Summer camp. Summer camp. I was always so jealous of people that went to summer camp. I went to swim camp like a douche. They showed a clip of that show when it was coming, like, oh, this is an Australian show. We're bringing it to, you yeah. know, to yeah. FX, you know. And I was like, oh, this looks pretty cool. So that's why I checked it out. But you know whose brother is one of the directors is – um, no, I'm going to blank on Hemsworth. his name. No, no. One of the Australian actors, prominent. Not Hemsworth, but Colin Farrell. scruffy guy with a beard. Um, uh, um, the bro- guy from Munich? No. Oh, no, not Banna. No, uh, Banna. He was, he was, oh, he was Carl Urban. No, now I'm going to blank. Is that what you just name. said, Ikaika? Yes. He Carl was in that really bad adaptation of the know. Moses story, Kings of Kings, with. Uh, oh. He played the brother of Christian uh, Bale. Oh, uh, uh, the, is it the guy from uh, Warrior? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm blanking on his name. Come on. Edgerton. Edgerton. Joel, Joel so Edgerton. Joel's Edgerton's brother is like one of the producers. I and see directors. that name yeah. at the end. And I'm like, is that Edgerton's brother? And, and he's a stunt guy. Whoa. So when I was looking, I'm like, of course, he's up there talking. I'm on IMDb yeah. trying to figure out who this guy is. And he yep. was, he played, he was Obi Wan Kenobi. He was Ewan McGregor's stunt double in The Phantom Menace. Yes. But he also directs. Oh. And, but that's Joel Edgerton's brother. And they've no worked way. on projects together. Ewan Edgerton is his name? I, I think so. I don't know what is it is. Oh, you're being funny. <laughs> you and Ed, I was like, wait, that sounded kind of real. Like it could be a real name. Well, Right, let's look but it no, he's uh, yeah. So I went up in there and talked to him about Obi, you know, being in Star sure. Wars and working with his brother. And no one else was talking to him. I think it's because I just IMD beat him and figured out who he was. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I know your brother. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, the the cast of this is hysterical. I, it's but really I've never good. seen yeah. this guy before. Yeah, and then Scott Ryan is his name. Yeah, I don't know. Him. Yeah, yeah, <sighs> awesome. I've never seen him before, but the cast right. is great. I love uh, his daughter on the show. And oh, his she's relationship great. And yeah. yeah, well, I mean, I think that's. I mean the th- the thing is so my father in law loves it too right mm-hmm. and I w- I said I think it's it's a per- it's it's kind of like the wire in a sense yeah. of like it's a very slow show mm-hmm. there's no like beginning middle end Mm-mm. of it it just kind of ends yeah. each episode just kind of ends so it feels like a ten episode movie or an eight episode movie how many episodes we're getting and it's just it's just a slice of life of a guy who's I guess a hitman. But more just like muscle for yeah, a. He does some bad stuff. Yeah. Bad, he does some really bad stuff. Yeah. He's a it's bad like he's got, guy. But he's got a daughter, so it's like hey, he's a nice guy. And then he tries <laughs> to be a good dad. Yeah, right. Dude, 
And the man. actors, like, I love the guy who plays his gangster friend, the guy from Justified, yes. you know, I, who I didn't even know was Australian. I was like, oh, this guy's Australian. Okay, of course, right? Of course he is. Yeah, he's yeah. Justified for all those years. He played uh, Dewey, right? Dewey, yeah. I'm like, Justified. Yeah, I assumed he's from the South. Well, when he, <laughs> right? Because his <laughs> accent is southern, so good. Yeah, sounds southern. Nash Edgerton is his name. Nash Edgerton. Nash yeah. Edgerton. Yep, that's it. Um, no, uh, that guy came into, everybody's like, Joel Edgerton, Russell Crowe. We got it. Joel Edgerton, thank you guys very much. You mean all the Aussies? <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Every Aussie actor ever. Uh, that guy came in, um, the, uh, the guy that plays his buddy and the yeah. guy that, that plays Dewey. He came into Collider back in the day because he oh. also played Charlie Manson in the- That's right. Uh, the, with Leonardo DiCaprio. Well, the Hollywood Land. No, he play, old school Hollywood. What's that movie he, called? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Thank but you. Remember, what's crazy about that, that actor is he played Manson in two different roles. He did. He played it in the um, the Netflix show by David Fincher. Um, I'm blanking on it. Uh, Mind of a Mur- I don't know. Whatever the, I'm blanking. It's David Fincher's show about, you, you haven't seen that? You have to have watched No, that. I've had to have seen it. It's the one where they, they go in, the FBI agents. Oh, oh uh, uh, Mind Hunters. Mind Hunters. Oh, and, and he played it's so, that show is the so same good. character in yeah. both. That was really cool. You know yeah. where they shoot a lot of that? Atlanta, no, Vancouver. Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, everything's in Atlanta or Vancouver. I don't when know. I it's say Atlanta, where they shoot something, you got to imagine. Oh, are you watching Cruel Summer? No, is that oh, Pittsburgh? Man. No, it's Texas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that has anything to do with you or me. None of, we don't have any affiliation. Okay, well, tell me about Cruel Summer. Oh, I was going to ask you. Sorry, yeah. random. This is what I'm thinking about. Of course, I, yeah. I could ask you this off camera. I saw uh, who's the the big guy who plays for the Rams, uh, the linebacker. Oh, Aaron Donald. He's from Aaron, Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was yeah. watching something online, and he yeah. was like at the University of Pitt. He yep. took his son to summer camp, but I'm mm-hmm. like, why is he in Pittsburgh? Yeah, that's where he's from. He went to Penn Hills okay. High School. All right, sorry. There's, there's a crazy story about him in high school, and it's not verified. But when he when he was in high school, he, he obviously played on the defense. He yeah. was a, he was a he was he wasn't as like dominant as he is now. But he was still like a team. stud, yeah. right? And he wanted to stay close to home, so he went to Pitt. And Pitt recruited him so hard, whatever. And so the, re- the recruiters are in the stands, and he tells his coach, he's like, listen, if we go up, because mm-hmm. he played at a really good high school, yeah. right? He's like, if we go up, let me play quarterback. Right? Jeez. And he's, I mean, he, play, he played offense and defense, but mostly because he was so big. He played defensive line, linebacker, and then he played O-line and whatever. He's like, let me play quarterback. He scored three <laughs> touchdowns in the fourth quarter as a wow. quarterback. Just like stiff, like running with the ball and just stiff-arming yeah, guys other way. Yeah, he's a massive human being. Crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, Aaron Donald, a, yeah. a Pittsburgh legend. I was always really bummed because he was so good coming out of college and he got drafted way before the Steelers could take him, but he would have been an amazing Pittsburgh mm-hmm. Steeler. I mean, I think everybody would be an amazing Pittsburgh Steeler. Cool okay, Summer. Cool Amanda. Summer. Talk to me about I mean, Cool Summer. Cool Summer Where is, is it? produced by Jessica Biel. Oh. It's, it takes place in Texas. Best oh. season of the center, Jessica yep. Biel's season. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jessica Biel's great. Uh, and she it takes place over three years, mm-hmm. 1993, 1994, okay. 1995. Okay. Tells one story with the same actors, Okay. Uh, different you know, places, and it's like it's a mystery. It's like a missing girl. What Ooh. happened? There's, of course, it's a small town. Sure. Of Amanda course. will love this. It, it, it's like a teeny bopper version of Mayor of Easttown. Ooh. Maybe not. That's maybe a little too, but it's good. Teeny bopper May. And teeny, teeny bopper where is this Mayor again? Easttown, in Texas. I don't know what town in Texas. No, no. Uh, streaming where? Oh, it's on Hulu. Freeform, oh, it's on Hulu. But it's on Freeform. Oh, it's on Freeform. Which Got was it. ABC Family. Yes. So I was a little bit, I heard that everybody was like hooked on this show. Mm-hmm. And it's a little silly at times, but okay. it's it's good. Okay, it scratches it. that that itch. Is it is is it like same level of whatever like Outer Banks? Did you watch Outer Banks? No. Okay. But it, ha- it has a little bit of a CW feel to okay. it. Okay. Okay. But All it's right. good. Okay. And Jessica Biel is producing it. Yeah. Okay. It's good. All it's right. enjoyable. No, no, I'll yeah. give you. Um, the uh, I'm looking forward to this Rose Byrne show, Physical. Yeah, that's out now. Is yeah, it? On Apple. I haven't I haven't seen it. Apple's so. Because our buddy Patrick, yeah. uh, my buddy Patrick Dees, I don't know if you know Patrick Dees, he runs uh, Fan Control familiar. Football. I think you recognize him or know him. He loves For All Mankind, and we have yet oh, to I start. Oh, I love that show. Okay. Yeah. So it's I got to start slow. that one. Okay. So just be well, prepared. You know I like slow TV. Yeah, I was saying if a man, yeah. I don't know if she, but it, it's a slow burn, but it's really good. Yeah. Especially by the end of season two. It's okay. Rough. Yeah. Yeah. For All Mankind. Because I will say, I, I thought, from what I'm told, it's like what we thought Man in the High Castle would be if you didn't read the book. Like I didn't yeah. read Man in the High Castle, but after the first scene of Man in the High Castle, I was like, "Whoa, this show's awesome!" And then they all of a sudden started doing time travel, and I was like, "What?" Yeah, it's a little weird. It's a little yeah. weird. But that's the thing. What's cool with Apple is it's you know this whole discussion right now of the streaming wars. Yeah. And who's gonna win? You know, Peacock right. versus Netflix versus Disney Paramount Plus. Plus. Apple TV. Apple TV. Apple and Amazon you can put in this category too. They're the ones that really don't care who wins uh-huh. because Apple and Amazon are worth a trillion dollars for something that's yeah. completely unrelated yeah. to TV shows. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we'll pay Jennifer Aniston twenty-five million dollars a season for you know 
you know, a pretty good show for a pretty good show. It's like, oh, we'll we'll give Momoa a season two of the show about blind people in a polka apocalyptic world <laughs> that probably not that many people watch. No, but I did not. Watch they don't that. care. Yeah. Apple's playing the long game. So it's, it's fun to watch what they put. They out want because, the awards. Yeah. They, they just want and the same award. with Amazon. They don't need to really succeed in this because if they don't, they'll just sell more toilet paper and shoes. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, he's going to space instead of like solving some some issues here. Yeah, like, I'm buying a rocket. I'm going to space. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot of good TV out right now. There it really it's is. Just, if anything, too much. That's the problem. Have you watched? Uh, what I was I farts. I was going to tell you. What do you got, Ikeka? I was going to ask if good. he's watched Loki yet. Oh. Loki. Oh yeah, I forgot about Loki. I, I'm kind of forget. It's probably the yeah. biggest show. Right? Yeah, yeah, Loki's yeah, Loki's really good. Okay. It's um. Where are you ranking it right now? Because I liked. I liked like in the w- Disney Plus Marvel shows. Right, right. I liked WandaVision. What yeah. was the other one? Falcon and Winter Soldier. I in- really enjoyed Falcon and Winter Soldier. I thought it was a- it could have been six episodes instead of eight or whatever many it was. Yeah. Felt a little long at points. Uh, same with WandaVision. I thought it felt a little long at points, but I thought both. Sh- I- if I was going to pick, I'd probably take Winter Soldier over WandaVision, but not by much. So where are you going to I'd agree. Loki? I'd put, I think, overall from episode to episode, even though I didn't think Falcon and Winter Soldier ended okay. on a high note. Okay. The ending was a little bit, eh. But, um... I would put Loki so far. It's only been two, three episodes. Okay. I would say I'm liking it more than WandaVision. I think because Tom Hiddleston's just, he's such a big presence. Okay. You know, and he's so good. And there's some actors, I won't spoil anything. I know people have seen the trailers. You can tell that he's sure. um, with, a, what's the guy from Wedding Crashers? That's not, that's on the Vince Vaughn. No. Uh, Owen, Owen Wilson. Wilson. Owen Wilson. Oh, that's right. right. He's in Yeah, Owen yeah, Wilson. Yeah, like, yeah. I can say his name. That's not a spoiler. Um, okay. Their chemistry is great. There's some other characters that he interacts with that are really good. Um, and... I, I love Tom Hiddleston. It's just cool that they can bring him back. It's like, of course, why not? Why, why not do six episodes? That's what's cool with Marvel. It's like, let's bring these movie-level productions. It's basically productions. a movie. And these shows are like $20 million an episode. Yeah. They're huge productions. Huge. And this one, here's, you know, my, you know, my thoughts it on... It looks like a movie. You know my thoughts? It looks like a movie. It looks and like I'm a movie. A, uh, you know, my thoughts on, like, time travel and the and the space camp <clears throat> continuing and the timeline. That's why I got off a of Flash. I was like, all right, I'm out of here. The first episode is a really good... Um, entryway into that world they okay. kind of slowly break everything down for fans that are like hardcore marvel fans they might find episode one a little tedious it's like ah, i know all this got stuff it, got it, yeah. but if you don't for it's me. like for me even me i'm like oh this is great right they kind of explain what that's all about okay all right it's like you're watching it almost like a kinder there's almost there's a little i'll say there's a little video it's almost like a, a something you'd watch in kindergarten about this is what you know right is going on in the time verse and all this and, i yeah. need that yeah well because i fell asleep during endgame like all five oh, no. times i watched it I always fall asleep in the oh, same time. Oh, you probably have because you have your sleep. Yeah, sleep I'm a sleep guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I fall asleep during every movie, pretty much ever, which is why I'm like worried about Fast Nine in the theaters. Because if I spend the money to go yeah. by myself and I fall asleep, I'm be really upset, and then I have to just go to the bathroom and then wait till the next showing and then yep. go back to it again. <laughs> then it's like, where the hell are you? I'm like, yep. I fell asleep during Fast Nine, but I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, and those are long movies. Very long. Yeah, and there's but, a ton of explosions, which you would think would keep Josh up. Yep, I might need to like. Just chug like six coffees before I go and eat like a shy like the wine hunk. Great. I'll tell you what, Prince of the Islands. I will see it with you if you see it at IMAX so I can watch the Jurassic World preview. Mm. Oh, that's right. They're doing a special preview at IMAX. Hmm. I saw, we, what did we see? Michelle and I saw something at IMAX. I'm so behind. I, I get so like blank on Wait, what so I'm recently watching. you went to the theaters? Yeah, we've been a few times. Oh. Yeah, we, we have the AMC yeah. Stubbs program, oh, right, right, you know, right, right, uh, right. you know. Um, so we get like the three movies. A week. We don't go three movies a week. Probably see like two movies a month sure. or something like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, we've been. It's it's good, you know, okay. with everything right. kind of, you know. But you're still spaced out. Okay. You know, you're not too close. No one's right on you. Yeah. You know, um, it was nice. Right on. Yeah, I liked it. I miss the movies. I love going to. <sighs> yeah, I'm like, here's that's well, I know with you because it's with the kid. You got to. Yeah, Rosie. with the kid, it's obviously a lot different. Right. I've never been a huge go to the movies guy. I know that like that stuns people, but like if we got screeners yeah. or if we got in- invitations to screenings, great. But I would always just wait till the movie came out because I need to watch it on my own time because I fall asleep oh, every single time. Yeah. So yeah. if I'm going to the right. movie theater, as soon as I sit down on one of those chairs, I'm like, mm-hmm. I got 30 minutes, and I know I'm going to fall asleep yeah. at some point during every movie. Oh, in I the heights. It. That's what we saw in IMAX. In the ah, heights. I heard it's amazing. Yeah, I mean you can watch it on HBO Max, but yeah. that's one of those movies that. IMAX, the sound, the music. I yeah. mean, it's it was worth going to IMAX to see right. that. I've heard it's amazing. Yeah, it is. Uh, I never, I don't, you know me and musicals. Oh, yeah, you don't like musicals. That's right. big, uh, but I, you're, you're, I, I tried to watch Ham- I tried like, to watch Hamilton, and yeah. I was like, Ugh. oh, 
You're like, why are they singing? This guy has so much rap, and it's so quick. And I'm like, it's fast, can we yeah. slow down? Yeah. Josh Makuga does not do well with We watched with Hamilton, speech, and I, I put the subtitles on just so yeah. I didn't miss <laughs> it's anything. It's kind of genius. Like, and even then, I couldn't even follow yeah. it. So mm-hmm. I was like, holy cow, that's a lot of subtitles. Mm-hmm. And nothing against Hamilton fans or anything like that. I know people, like, someone's going to find this and be like, oh, this freaking guy. I <laughs> I can't. I, it's just hard for me. Yeah. It's just it's, it's very fast, right? And I know the like the point of In the Heights, not the point, but I like I know like the history and I know the story. Mm-hmm. I know all that kind of stuff about it. It's amazing. I've heard great things about it, and I'm sure it's beautiful and amazing. But for me, it's like ah, it's so <laughs> fast. What was that show that Boz Lerman did uh, in the Bronx? Member that was on Netflix, and oh. it was like, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, excuse me, I watched <clears throat> that show. Yeah, um, and I thought that's what In the Heights was like. No, 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 it's like Hamilton. I only I watched like, like oh, an episode man. or two. I think that's back when we're doing TV talk. Yeah, I, never, I, was, I yeah. enjoyed that show. I watched every episode. Yeah. Maybe again. Yeah. I think they did two seasons. I think it was like wasn't it like really expensive and they spent too much expensive. money and then they're like why did, you know and, and there was points it. where they were clearly walking in front of a green screen. Like, oh yeah, I was like yeah. Oh. No, in the Heights you don't really get that feel. Okay. And my sister used to live in Washington. Right. Heights. Yeah. 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 In New York. Kelly right. Griffin. Yeah. Brought the house down at David Griffin's wedding. Yeah. Saying Ave Maria. Woof. Very pretty. She can rip it. Very pretty. Tell you what. Girl's got a voice. <laughs> uh, what what are, what's some stuff that people don't know about quite yet that you are like really hype on, or things that like maybe that are coming out very soon that you can't recommend more, or maybe things that you're like ah, I thought it was gonna be better. Uh, I, don't know I mean, this is the positivity report, so you know. I can't say like if I've seen it or not, but I can say that keep your eye out. There's a Kevin Smith has a He Man show, He-Man right? Right. Of the universe. That's about it's not Kevin anime, Smith. no origin. It's animation. We're not anime. Yeah, We've got our I friend Tiffany the, Smith. I know is on she's the show. in it. It's, you know, it's and not, I love it's Tiffany. Not, you know, just, it's I mean, what you a have, live you have action. Sarah He-Man. Michelle Geller on there, you know, um, you know that that's a that's a one to look out for. I'll say. I think I, you know what it is, and I'll, I've been spoiled by Pixar oh, and well, like Pixar, DreamWorks. Yeah. yeah, we just watched because the animation. Yeah, Luca was. I've was heard really Luca's good. pretty good. Yeah, it's cute. And it's, oh. a, it's Italian. I know. They're Luca. in a mummy coast. Yeah, Luca. A Luca. <laughs> He's a little fish boy. He goes in the fish and he comes out the yeah, little fish. Luca, yeah, there's Italian. Vespas in it too. I've heard there's Vespas. Yeah. yeah how, how, how much more Italian can you get? I don't know. Vespa's and a boy named Luca. I see. I know that. Yeah. Uh, he swim in the ocean, and yeah. he comes out he's, uh, in the Amalfi. <laughs> and he's like, uh, everything I see, it looks like he's in the Amalfi coast. Is, is it, I don't know it? if they say that's where they are, but it looks like it. Yeah. And I've only been to Rome, and then I was in um, Florence. Okay. I never, I never made it to the coast. Got it. Yeah. Very beautiful country, though. Uh, Stylin' Moose says, Hamilton was the same for me, too. Much fast rap in the Heights was good, though. Okay. Yeah. Listen, I'll watch it. I'll probably wait until the price comes down on HBO Max. And it's different it. because In the Heights is a movie production, whereas like when you're watching Hamilton, you're watching a live a play, stage a play. stage play, a recording of a play. So it's a little different. How has that not been a movie? Like Hamilton? Yes. Did, did he? Well, Disney owns it. They own it, so maybe they can, if they want to do a live action version, they will. I mean, it's shocking to me because as soon as you say Hamilton in front I'd of people, I love to see that live action. I, listen, I would probably enjoy it more as live you action. Might, yeah. Yeah. Then on the stage play. Yeah. I know. I get it. I get it. It's a play. It's meant to be enjoyed. Live I get it. Play. it. Must go to Broadway. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, I tried to watch that Bruce Springsteen on Broadway thing, and I was like, oh, I hear one more depressing story about his childhood into like, uh, the steel mill. I was like, just give me Born to Run and jam <laughs> it the F out. Like, I love Springsteen. I don't just play the four hour concert. I understand <laughs> that growing up in Freehold, New Jersey was tough. I get it. You're now a quad billionaire. Just play the hits. <laughs> Bruce is doing okay. He's yeah, fine. he's fine. He's fine. Bruce is and fine. I love Springs. I know, and I know I'm the dude who's like, oh, you want to go to concert and just hear the hits? Yeah. That's why that's why I'm here. <laughs> okay? I didn't follow Bruce around to hear an all blues night with Springsteen. Okay? Play Born to Run. Go into 10th Avenue Freeze Out. Give me a little hungry heart. Play a little Born in the USA. <laughs> close with something freaking awesome. Like, we don't go. I don't go to Hamilton and like, hey, so tonight's performance of Hamilton will actually be Glenn <laughs> Glary, Glenn Ross. I'm like, I didn't, what? I didn't tune in for Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. I tuned in for Hamilton. <laughs> Sorry, I'm yelling, David. Oh, I never get to ask you. Did you ever get to check out those? Um, Gangs of London? I haven't watched no, it yet. Oh, yeah. Gangs of London I've was heard. cool. That's coming back for a second season. It's piling it's up, just from David. the guy who did the raid. Oh, did you watch Hacks? Yeah, Hacks is good. Hacks watching is it good. now. I haven't finished it. Watching it now. It ends. I, love I was Gene crying Smart. at the end. Yeah, Gene Smart. Really yeah. good show. Sorry, I meant to bring. Yeah, it up but there. no, Gangs of London's good. Okay. Um, what's that show that I watch? Oh, uh, Sabora. Oh, that's good. That's the final season's already out. Okay. I think it's just on Netflix. Is it's that like Brazil? Gamora. No, it's no, like Gamora. It's, it's like Gamora. It's it's in Rome. 
Oh yeah, it's good. The Vatican's involved. I mean, you got to watch. It's in. You can go watch on Netflix now. <gasps> it's like if you like Gamora. I know you like Gamora. I do. I yeah. bet I like Sabora. It's uh, yeah, Sabora. It's in Rome. Yeah. You, you know, I like it's even, like Sabora, blood on Rome or blood in Rome, something like that. You know, you know what I like even more what? than Sabora. What? Sabaro. <laughs> oh my gosh. I There's a dad says, joke for you. Oh, I don't even have wow. to tell one today. Come on. Uh, Sabaro. <laughs> Every mall you go into, you got Aunt Annie's and Sabaro. Aunt Annie's. Aunt Annie's. Annie Ann's. No. Wetzel's Pretzels. Wetzel's Pretzels. Ooh, that's good. All Cinnabon. Those Hot Dog on a Stick. Shakes. Uh, uh, what's the Japanese place? Uh, well, or or Panda, uh, Panda Express. Panda. Not Japanese. That's Chinese. No, there's, a Jap- there's something. There's yeah. always a Japanese There's always place. a Japanese. Yeah. Uh, Charlie's. Chipotle. Chili cheesesteak. Ooh, Charlie's Chili. Charlie's, yeah. 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 We got it all. I love a good food court. Don't <laughs> don't don't court. don't tell me. No, listen, <laughs> I am nothing if not pop culture. Okay, just yeah. give me all the main hits. I've said it already. It's like when they when um, Ken was talking about it yesterday. There was this new show about like this is pop. Yeah, it's like the docu series mm-hmm. about pop music, and I was like, I'm, this is I'm the audience for this. Yeah, I'm the guy that like if it's not on the radio, I'd probably don't know it. I mean, and we're in LA, so we're, we're kind of spoiled. I mean, there's tons of yeah. good restaurants to go to out here, interesting bars, places to explore, new things to try. But sometimes Michelle's like, "What do you want to eat?" I'm like, "Yeah, let's go to Chili's. Yeah. <laughs> let's get a margarita and it's, some it's, queso dip. It's really you good. Know, like, the queso is kind of like brown. Yeah. It's like yellowish brown. Not really sure what's Ooh, in there, yeah, but it's good. good. And it's you get amazing. a margarita. I mean, it's like, yeah, let's go to fantastic go to Chili's. Guess what? Yeah. Every margarita, unless they're like doing sp- something special with some fresh made lime on stuff, if they're just using margarita mix, it's the same. It's fine. Everywhere. It's the, yeah, it's it's the same. It's four it's bucks. Yeah. Um, I, I, for Father's Day, the, my only two requests were Cheesecake Factory for breakfast and Shake Shack for dinner. Yeah. I'm, I'm a pop culture man. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm getting a lot of? I don't know if you got this too when you were, maybe we already asked you this when uh, Amanda was pregnant. We're getting the question a lot now. Are you only gonna have one? Oh, that's all the time. And I'm like, we're only it's like we're at twenty weeks. We're halfway. Mm-hmm. Miles isn't even here yet. Stop like, asking let's me that wait question. Till, yeah, I'm just like, like, can we just get to him first? Yeah. Yeah. In- even we don't know. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy we're, we're every that a lot, second. Though. Cause man, I'm telling you what, she is like the sweetest little thing right now. She's so cute in bath time. Like being a dad right now is absolutely amazing. And I know it's gonna change. Everybody keeps telling me like it's gonna go fast. It, oh, it's fl- it's flying. It's four oh, months, man. We've been re- we've been watching. Michelle never saw Parenthood, so we're on season four of Parenthood. Ooh, we've been, that's show. what we've been watching over the last year. We've been watching Parenthood like Heck an episode show. every night. Yeah. And speaking of, is, is the new Kevin Hart movie called Parenthood or Fatherhood? Fatherhood, I think. Yeah. I, I watched the trailer and started crying. I was like, yeah. I, I'm going to need a, I, I can't. Yeah. I, I'm going to need like a, a little bit of time for that one. Yeah. Too too soon. Too soon. <sighs> Something happens to Amanda. I'm screwed. What, what's what I'm gonna do? Put her in front of a golf net? Like I, I don't. Yeah, I can't. Funny, I like, can't yeah, watch it's... a movie where something happens to the wife right now. Can't watch it. Yeah, there's no way it's gonna happen. That's what I've heard. Like when you have kids, they say like when you watch movies where kids are like my mom can't even get through Hunger Games. Yeah, she tried to watch the first movie. She's like I just kept thinking of you and Kelly. Like yeah. what if you guys were in there? Like she, yeah, Mrs. Griffin could not get through Hunger Games. Sorry, it was too Mrs. much for Griffin. her. Yeah, she couldn't Sorry, watch Mrs. it. Griffin. Uh, Daniel Medina chimes in. We got eight years of that question before the second finally started baking. LOL. Yeah. And Daniel Medina's having one. Same yeah. time you're coming out. Eight years, yeah. Little Danny Junes. Wow. Um, how about this one? Sammy Leo Mendoza chimes in. Sabaro started as a local New York pizza shop. I really? would imagine that was the case. Okay. And then somebody said, let's go national with this yeah. bad boy. And let's put like a big thing of pizza. It's calzone looking thing. Let's stuff Ooh. like broccoli and cheese Ooh. in there. I haven't had. I actually don't mind Sparrow. You it's shouldn't. Little, it's I don't amazing. Mind, yeah, I haven't had it in a long time. Maybe next time I'm at the mall, that's what I'm going to get. If you go at the end of the night, I remember when we were younger, they like give you the whole pie and it'd be a big discount. They just uh-huh. like get half off. Yeah. Because they they're going to throw it away anyway. We used to like chill out in the mall. My mom was like, all right, I'll pick you guys. We were like 13, 12, yeah. 13, couldn't drive yet. And we were like talking to girls from like the other school. <laughs> like, is what you kids don't get these days, you Gen Z sons. It no, uh, is that the mall was where you met people. That was it. You didn't meet people online. You couldn't like, you couldn't like, whatever, chat rooms, whatever. You had the mall. That mm-hmm. was it. So Upper Saint Clair, the girls from like Bethel Park would come, Sharp Valley, Mount Lebanon, and you were like, whoa, that's so and so from Mount Lebanon. I heard she's cute. I should go talk to her. And then we'd wait in the in the food court until it was about to close. And I'm like, mom, mom, would pick you up at nine thirty because the mall closed at ten. And so would be like, we're getting rid of half this broccoli pot. You guys want it? We're like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> we did it. I get in the car, like they gave us the broccoli pot. Yeah. I was like, broccoli's not good on pizza. Like you shut your mouth. It's perfect. It's the little uh, things. It's the little it's things, the little things David. Things, yeah. That's why in Stranger Things, when they finally went to the mall, I was like, they better show a pizza. Nope, it was ice cream. Oh yeah, scoops ahoy! Scoops ahoy! Yeah. Although hilarious, they didn't go pizza, and they could have done it like an easy pun, like Habaro or Sababa. Sababa, <laughs> like just a little tweak, yeah. Sababa, <laughs> same same font, 
<laughs> Same everything. Call it Sabubba. It's like, it's like McDowell's and coming to America. Correct. We're the Golden they, Arches. Right. They have the Golden they have, they have the Big Mac. We have the Big Mac. <laughs> Such an underrated thing. Did you? Did the new Coming to America come out? Yeah, yet? it's on Amazon. Did you watch it? Yeah, you must make it. That's not good. <laughs> it's like it's just it was it's just too. Everything just seems old about it. Yeah, not just the actors. Yeah, just the comedy. It just seems a little dated. I love the first one. One of my favorite oh, movies of man. all time. It's still worth yeah. you know. I mean, check it out. It's on Amazon. If you have Amazon, why not watch yeah, it? But yeah. eh. more mouth haunt says there was an air of mystery. Yeah, there was. Mm. And when you went to the mall. You didn't know what was going to happen that no. night. Because sometimes, like those those vendors, like in the Ooh. in the middle part of the mall, when you're yeah. walking in between the stores, they change. Oh yeah. So you might have a new vendor there. You don't know. Cell phone cases cell didn't phone exist cases. back then. Yeah, no cell phone cases. You spray spray T-shirts. Mm-hmm. A new pretzel place. You, never you didn't know. know. You get the free samples. Oh yeah, walk oh. in the food court just for the free samples. And then and then they would notice you. Yeah. In the second time. Well, around. now I mean, since like the uh, I think since the um, you know everything's kind of getting back a little back to normal now. Um, you go to Costco and those places and the free samples are back. They you, you, you didn't tell me that. The free samples know. are back at Costco. Let's if go. you have a Costco membership, we're going tomorrow. Let's, let's go. We're yeah. going tomorrow for sure. We are getting because bring, oh, bring the GoPro. Oh yeah, bring the GoPro. We are uh, we're, we're going to start a tradition here. Well, starting August first, we're having a weight loss challenge here in the office from August first oh. until Halloween. Okay. Well, October 28th. Winner, we're doing like all the things. Weight, BMI. What was that thing that uh, Emma's talked about? I need to contact this body person. Body scan or something? Body, full body August scan. August to October? August to October. Mm. But until then, every Friday is Chicken Bake Friday because that Chicken Bake at Costco is life changing. Yeah, it's good. Holy shit. Well, sometimes when we're there shopping, again, I feel like I'm yeah. becoming very domesticated now when, since I've been married. Like, you know, we go there, we look at the toilet paper, like, do we really need 20 rolls? <laughs> We have the story. Where can we fit it? Yeah, where's it gonna go? Yeah. Um, and then we'll get like a, we'll get a piece of pizza. Yeah, it's like a buck fifty. So and it's good. And it's good. It's good pizza. Good pizza. Not bad. We just get the whole pie and then I just eat it all weekend. <laughs> like pizza for like three. <laughs> ten bucks meals. for the whole pie. I know. Yeah, it's not bad. Get the pepperoni. It's so. Yeah. I mean, here's the problem. And I and I love the kid. He's the best. Ikeka Shaiva, the Prince of the Islands, the great hunkino, the Hawaiian hunk. He introduced me to Costco, and now my life is forever changed. Oh yeah, Costco. Yeah. I, I think about that chicken bake every day. Yeah. <laughs> And you always the problem with that store is you go in there and you don't need that much, but you, you spend. Nope. It's like oh, but look at this deal. Yep, yep. It's like you know three gallons of mayonnaise. Well, I, We're I like, got it. Can't beat it. that. Like this is a sack of lettuce. I was yeah. like, we make one salad a week, but we should get the sack. Yeah, it might go bad in like five days, but it's okay. It's, it's fine. Good. It's a deal. You oh, you know what we do need? A five pound jug of mozzarella cheese. Yes. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Yep. We got it. Or <laughs> I, I said yes, I haven't like walking in those back aisles that I haven't investigated before. Yeah. Like blowing the dust off some deals. Oh mm-hmm. man. Yep. And the um I Amanda said it was a low blow, but like I could have taken a nap in that outdoor furniture. But I did buy my first pair of golf shorts from the clothing section mm-hmm. that are fantastic. Did you hear about the whole uh, drama with the Kirkland golf balls? No, because so, they were telling people they're pro. Well, now V1s. they're they're not. Th- well, they hired the guy who worked on the Pro V ones, but uh, then I think either title is sued or they accused them said you guys better stop doing this and they had they were a good three piece ball for cheap people found out they were sold out all the time yeah but now the kirkland golf balls are just kind of back to a normal not as good uh, as they used to be but yeah mm-hmm. the, the guy from title has worked on those golf balls interesting so they're just like pro v1s yeah that's what that's cheap. what everybody kept telling me i was like they're not pro you v1s. couldn't find them they were sold out no, all the time but now everywhere. now they're yeah i got a few in my net collection that i'm going to be hitting into that oh yeah yeah mm-hmm. kirkland chicken bake Whoa. chicken bake the chicken bake. It's like the voice of I know. Chicken voice of God. Bake. Chicken, chicken bake. Chicken bake Friday. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's my it's what the hot pocket was meant to be. Like when yeah. you when you heat up a hot pocket, good luck not ruining your mouth for at least two or three oh, days. Oh, it's so hot. Yeah. Too hot. And it, and usually you microwave it for maybe a little too long or a little too short. It's either cold or like the outer crust gets too hard. The mm-hmm. chicken bake, however. Yep. Get a little and, and he thinks I'm insane, but dip in ketchup. Ooh. Okay. Not ranch. No, no ranch. Okay. I'm not a ranch guy. If I was gonna do, I'd do blue not cheese. Not a ranch a guy. No, I'm blue cheese. A blue cheese with my wings. But I do love Always. me some ranch. Always what, blue cheese. What if we made beer cheese? Ooh, there's that. They have the beer cheese with, with the pretzels. Um, Where at beer Costco? Cheese. There's a place again because I, I live. Oh my god. Where are we? We're on the. We're more, you know, northwesterly in yeah. LA. There's right a Costco now. down the street. I live east, about 50 minutes away from here. And there's a place called Smoke and Fire, huh. and it's one of those places that does the hot chicken, but yeah. they also do brisket, Ooh. and they'll like cut up the hot chicken and put it over fries <gasps> and put sauce on it, or you can have a sandwich. <gasps> and yeah, it's called Smoke and Fire. It's really good. We gotta go. And there. I think they might have they have a big pretzel. They may have beer cheese. Oh my god! 
It's a little bit of a drive from here, but it's Get good. the GoPro. We're going. I think it's called Smoke and Fire. It's good. We're going to Smoke and Fire. <laughs> right, Josh, pretty on the way over Oh, there. man. I, dude, I'm telling you. I, oh, man. This whole thing. It's, it's like I stopped working. And like, I didn't stop working out. It's just harder to work out with a baby. Like You're going to see. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. We're like handing off the baby. I'm here all day. I can't wake up early enough because I'm always exhausted. Mm-hmm. I've never been a good early wake-up guy. Amanda wakes up a few days, but she's got the baby. Baby goes down. She jumps on the Peloton. I, don't really, I like the Peloton. I don't love it. I like to work out and watch TV. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. My dad bot is coming in full, full effect, David. It's not good. It's, it's, I'm putting on weight and it's ugly. Oh. That's why we're doing this August first. Okay. Weight loss yeah. challenge. But until then, I will be dream. I, that chicken bake. Oh man, beer cheese, well, hot call, chicken they call fries. It happy fat, married baby. Is happy that what it is? Fat. It's yeah, happy fat. It's happy fat. I'll it's tell you, he's not making it happy. This guy. <laughs> oh man. All right. Let's uh, let's do some videos that make me smile, and uh, we can get out of here. Love having you on the show, buddy. Yeah, the thanks for having me. This is yeah, great. Nice to be here. I, I have been on the show. Yes. It's nice to be here in person. I know. You know There's something magic. The Zoom and stream, all that, fine. <clears throat> in person, just a million times better. Oh, it is, yeah. It's the best. Yeah. All right. I don't even know if they, I think the mic still picked it up. All right, watch this kid. Do you wow. see that? Watch this little kid. Whoa. He's like a ninja. Look at the balance. Yeah. Wow. What? Whoa. Who is this kid? Wow. I mean, wow. I, who's making this ninja? What? Where are the parents? Are the parents like? ninjas? Are the parents karate? He's like a year and a half old or something. Yeah. I mean, he's still in diapers. You're usually potty trained right around two or something like Joshua that. Joshua the super baby. Joshua the super baby? I mean, His name's really Josh? Yeah. I don't because, too, because kids accounts. don't have the best balance. They usually topple over pretty Dude, easy. I can't do that. Wow. This kid, this is Joshua yeah. Super Baby. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Josh is uh look at that. Man. Boom. Action. Crush. Wow. Look at him hold his leg up there. Bow. I don't know if like the mom or the dad like is somebody like a, they a martial be, arts expert they or is have a kid to taking be, right? classes. Like it can't just be that he Did got he, like good come like out this? the womb watching Billy Blanks videos <laughs> or John Claude Van Damme? Yeah, it's like right, let's, oh, oh yeah, you, okay. So this kid's been training. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got like, it. He's, okay. Been training. Okay. He's training with dad. Oh yeah. Da- oh. Oh whoa. He just kicked dad in the face. Okay. Yeah, this is a little aggressive for me as far as the training. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Watch this. This guy's like da 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 da. da. Oh, got it. No. <laughs> is that pizza? It looks to be a pizza or some sort of. Yeah. I think it's yeah. Pizza. Oh man. Oh. No. <laughs> That's <laughs> like three slices right there. You I know. Watch you your got food it. In the park when you're in the park, gotta watch got your food. food. Yep. All right. What's next? Oh, this one. What? Watch this little guy. A little pig. You ready? You ready? He's going to make it. He's going to make it. Nope. Oh, <laughs> piglet. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Guys, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Oh, oh. So close. All right, one more time. All right, watch me. <laughs> I'm going to get it this time, guys. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm going to try so hard. All right, just one more try, guy. One more try. I had too many chicken bakes at Costco. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Oh. Oh. Um, our boy Marmoth Hans says, Modern Family showed Costco best. We had a, be- a barbecue place called Smokey and the Brisket. Ooh, Whoa, that's pretty that's great good. Great name. Great name. Open up here. Thought you'd appreciate the wordplay. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. Smokey and the Brisket. Smokey and the Brisket. We stopped at a place. Uh, you know uh, Nick Kutry, our good buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he and I he drove. He's a smoker. He does have a smoker. Yeah. He's got multiple smokers. Yeah, I remember he made some good food for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's moving to Dallas, Texas. Oh, everybody's going to Texas. I know, it's crazy. Uh, and it's a cool summer there, David. Everyone knows. It is. That's right. There you go. Good, good memory, Josh. Good job. Good job. Um, I helped him drive some of his more uh, precious items from LA to Dallas in a Sprinter van a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago. We stopped in this place called Marathon Texas and had unreal barbecue. Yeah, it was so good. Mm-hmm. Man, and last night. I, I didn't want to bury the lead. I was waiting until the end of the show. Ikaika Shively went to Wood Ranch for the first time. Ikaika, your oh, review. Yeah, Wood Ranch, I yeah. love Wood Ranch. Remember the collider days? We used to go over all the to, time. Over That's all the, the time. one he went yeah, to. Wood yeah. Ranch, yeah. Okay. It Ikaika. was very good. Well, what'd you uh, have? I got the barbecue combo. So I had the tri tip, the brisket, and the pulled pork Ooh. with mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. Okay. Yes. Uh, That's a good and I had two old fashions. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 um, whiskey in there. The sad thing was. I don't know who didn't put it away. I'm not going to blame anyone. <laughs> but when I woke up this morning, my leftovers were still outside of the fridge. So yeah. I had to throw them away. Yeah. I was going to bring them for lunch today. You can't leave meat out. You got to put that meat in the fridge. Yeah. No. Something I learned on eating history. Can't eat old meat. No, I don't eat old meat. <laughs> I Guys. thought I was going to be really busy, though, but it wasn't. <laughs> no, it's good. Um, we have it wasn't very busy? No. Th- oh, I mean, good. there's 
decent amount of people there, but we got there like 7.30. Oh, nice. If okay. you ever find your guys self out in the Pasadena area or a little further in Claremont area, there's a place called Gus's Barbecue that is Ooh. excellent. And it's okay. very similar to that. You get like the, the two meats and the sides. Is Claremont, where you going for your rehearsal dinner? Yeah, it's yeah, in that same area. Really it's nice. a place called Gus's Barbecue. Claremont was really yeah, nice. Very I like good. That. Okay. Yes. Gus's Barbecue. And I've heard of this breakfast burrito place in Pasadena called Little Boy or something like that. Lucky Boy. Lucky Boy. Yeah, the burrito, it's like. A pound. It's massive. Okay. It's good though. Mm. Yeah, it's very good. There's potatoes in there and mm-hmm. a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of good places. I'm getting I, hungry. No, we're gonna no, get so no, big hungry. before oh, I wait. Man. <laughs> it's just like still in the morning. I'm hungry. I know. That's the thing. We start talking about food in here, and it's like, well, we gotta go to Taco Bell. Gotta go talk- <laughs> <laughs> right down the street. Oh man, David Griffin, thanks for being here, buddy. I love yeah. you so much, man. I'm uh, very excited for you. We'll see you Sunday, uh, getting yes. together for a little brunch. Yes. Uh, and we'll get you back on the show again soon. We will definitely get Sinead on the show as well. TV talk reunion. TV talk reunion. We'll get Emma Fife here as well. It'll be a whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and. Um, you know, tell the people what you're up to, where they can find you, where they can see your writings and musings mm-hmm. about movies and TV and all that stuff. I am uh, at IGN right now. IGN.com is where I'm at. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Griffin D E. Boom. That's where I am. Yeah. Um, yeah I'm, I'm around. I'm he's, still here. He's a heck of a writer. And as I said in your wedding ceremony, because I officiated David's wedding, uh, as I was like, he's the only guy I know, the only man in his like late twenties, early thirties that had more books than DVDs. He's a, a the last, bookcase. If you want to read something that I I wrote, I did um, I reviewed, which is fun. I think the only person who liked the show is Jupiter's Legacy. Okay, with Josh Dumel. Oh, I got uh, Leslie Bibb. Oh, right? yeah, she's uh, in there too. Sam Rockwell's wife. And it was yeah, it was canceled. Joe's canceled. Whoa. Done. I gave it a seven out of a ten. I said it was good. I thought Dumel's performance was one of his best, wow. and it was. But you're talking about Tad Hamilton. Is that who's Tad? When a date with Tad Hamilton was Josh Dumont. Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. It's a great yep. movie. I, I liked it. No one else did, but yeah. that's fine. That's fine. No one liked it. Um, the one show that got canceled after one season that was my favorite show, one of my favorite shows besides Ted Lasso, probably my second favorite show of the pandemic was Teenage Bounty Hunters on Netflix. Oh yeah. And I would I would highly recommend you watching it because I think I want to get your opinion on it because uh, Roxy loved it. Sinead didn't like it. Okay. Drew Dorsey didn't like it. Mm-hmm. A man and I lived for it. Right. You know, real quick, you know what I'm really curious about? Because remember, like, they're doing all these adaptations, like movies, and they're doing, like, a show about the uh, the Tiger King. Sure. I'm curious if that, like, momentum is still there. Like, I know it, it was at a time when the pandemic hit, everybody was at home. So at the same time, everybody was watching the exact same thing. It was everybody was into it. But I wonder if, like, when this, like, adaptations, like, are people still I, hyped about, like, oh, I can't wait till the Tiger King show or movie comes out? I think it's going to bomb. To be honest with you, I think it was a silly idea. I think it was like th- there was more fun around the casting of it yeah. than there was about the actual movie being right. made. I mean, it, it should be a lifetime movie, but it's going to come out on like what? An HBO Max and Netflix, yeah, something so. silly like that? Like, we'll see. I'm just curious. Isn't, ne- isn't Nicolas on. Cage playing Tiger King? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, there's like yeah. a few different. Yeah. Ad- yeah. And then uh, what's her name from SNL? Um, Kate McKinnon. Kate McKinnon. Yeah. yeah. Mm, we'll see. Man. Who knows? Uh, Thank you for this you? guitar pick. It's a very nice guitar <laughs> pick. You're welcome. Hit yeah. those picks and sticks. Dreamlabs.com slash GPA. Give us your address and name. What you got? Ikaika. We have two more cards. Two more cards. Oh, that's right. Drinkboonsbourbon.com. Well, I, look, you got to lead me into it. All right, go ahead. Let's go back to let's go back to one. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, the Positivity Report and the Good People Association is brought to you by Boone's Bourbon. Did you forget to mention the sponsor on the show first? Sure you did, because you're a dum-dum, and your name is Josh McCuga. But Boone's Bourbon, Boone's Homegrown Bourbon, David Griffin loves a good bourbon. I like bourbon. You will love this bourbon, David. It is smooth. It's sa- It's got a nice vanilla finish to it. Ooh. It's 117 proof, so you got to be careful when you're drinking it. You sip it on your back porch while your friend hits into a golf net, and his young daughter learns to be a professional golfer. Boone's Bourbon. Drink BoonesBourbon.com. Tomorrow we are unveiling a couple brand new Boone's Bourbon commercials that we made here because Tyler Boone... The maker, the purveyor of this fine bourbon, Americana rock legend, will be on Josh Brady taking on Alessandra Torresani tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific. So thank you as always to Boone's Homegrown Bourbon. What's my next? What else did I forget? Uh, when, you know, when you're doing bombs, you don't cut you you cut the red wire, but you don't cut the other wire. Oh, that's right. And here we go. Uh, starting very, very soon, all of you have been asking for it, we have partnered with Blue Wire to bring you the first Good People Association podcast network. A lot of these shows will be in podcast form, 
like the Positivity Report, Josh Brady, Riley's Cantina. We're also launching some new podcasts here on the channel, so stay tuned. Special thanks to Blue Wire. Those podcasts and that RSS feed, all that kind of fun stuff will be coming your way very, very shortly. Bing, bang, boom. Uh, I like that Ikaika is on me about this stuff today because sometimes, David, I get caught up with an old friend, a great friend, not we're, an old friend, a great up. friend, we're and we're talking TV and we forget all about that fun stuff. Uh, so thank you, Ikaika. You're welcome. Uh, and we're going to get those commercials ready for tomorrow, correct? Yes. Nice. He's the head of the editing department here. Oh, wow. I'm just thinking about He's you. We're running the show over here. <laughs> we're, we're doing it, David. Yeah. We're trying. It's like when I came on your other show, I was like, this is a real show. This is a real, <laughs> a real set. Look at this place. It's real. <laughs> we're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, we love all you. Uh, thank you. What? We love all of you so much. Uh, remember, every single day, you choose positivity. It's an active choice. Call somebody. Text somebody. Tell them you love them. It matters. It's way easier to love than hate. Find the good. See you tomorrow.